don't know why I always groan whenever I sit down or get up. It's, uh, I think I'm getting old. Anyway, <laughs> hello and welcome to Rust Locker. In today's video, I'm going to be working on the Civic Aero Deck. Um, just a couple of little things that really do need addressing quite quickly. Um, little niggly bits, annoying things. I'm going to try and fix the window today. Um, I don't know if you've seen the last video or not, but uh, my driver's side window is actually wedged up with blocks of wood and uh, it doesn't undo or do up um, and if you take those blocks of wood out the whole window is going to fall down into the door so I'm going to try and work on that try and fix that if I can't I'm hoping it's just come out of the runner if I can't fix it properly then I'll have to order a new window regulator but I'm going to take a look at that today also I'm going to try and address a little bit of an embarrassing issue and that is the fact that uh, the car still stinks um, We've got air fresheners, I've put air fresheners, got one of these, got some more in the back there, but um, yeah, I can only really describe it as uh, sort of like a, a mouldy biscuits mixed with vomit. That's the sort of smell that this car sort of permeates. And especially when you turn on the air vents, um, you don't get any air up to about number two, and then when it goes to number three, you get a bit of air, but that is where it definitely smells. It smells like at some point a child has chucked up right into the air vent. Um, that's what it smells like. So it's just blowing sort of warm vomit at you, which is not good. So I'm going to change the cabin filter. Going to give the car a good old spruce up and a clean, see if I can get it into a bit of better shape. And um, if I've got time, I might work on a couple of other bits. Have to see how it goes. Okay, so the first thing is going to be to remove the door card, a couple of uh, screws and some clips. Pull the door card off and then I can see what's going on with the window behind there. <laughs> there goes the window. Right, so upon lifting it up, I realised that I hadn't removed this. Um, this was already cracked and broken when I bought it, so I'm guessing that the mechanic who fixed the window with the wooden blocks um, maybe cracked this whilst trying to investigate. Um, it's worth noting here, if you've got a Civic like mine, um, this is very weird because I would think that this plastic trim piece just comes out from the handle um, and sort of pulls away, but it doesn't. You have to kind of pry it out of here just enough and if you can see behind there there's a connecting rod and you have to undo that connecting rod before you can get this out and uh, that's pretty weird I wasn't expecting that so uh, that's something to look out for if you've got a similar car so I just need to disconnect that connecting rod there try and order a new one of these off of eBay maybe I don't think this is fixable um, and then the card should come off so lift this a screwdriver and pop that off like that and then this should pull out there we go okay so the door cards off um, the window just kept falling down and getting in my way so I actually sort of pulled it up and out and, uh, and just put that on the back seat safely there so the problem is here's the mechanism and it's all just completely detached from however it's supposed to be um, so it looks kind of broken I think I found the problem um, I can't really see very well but there's a motor behind there you can just about see here uh, there's a gear teeth there which match up with the gear teeth on, uh, on this thing that goes in there and there's supposed to be something and where my finger is there there's supposed to be something that goes through this star shaped hole just to hold it in place and let it pivot and that's missing so um, I think it's gonna have to be a whole new regulator which is a bit of a pain but yeah a bit of a fail on that I was hoping to do just a nice quick easy fix but unfortunately as these things always are not going to be like that. Right, so after I remove this uh, by undoing these two bolts and pulling this out, um, I actually found 
the item in question that's supposed to hold this in and uh, so at first I was really excited, thought yes I'll be able to fix it but no because look how mashed up the teeth are right there they just folded in and some of them are smaller so I think what's happened because I've noticed that the rubber has come off of the inside here as well so I think maybe the windows got caught and jammed up on the rubber um, and the motors just basically grinded the teeth off of this which then meant the whole thing popped out so yeah it needs a new needs a new thing so I'm just trying to undo the the actual motor here with these four bolts that's hanging loose now um, but it's actually wired up here to uh, this little control box so I've got to try and unplug this plug there I might actually just remove this box to be able to get to that plug a little bit easier because I can't get my fingers in there okay so that's how my door is staying for a couple of days I can't be asked to put all the door card back on just to take it off again so I'm just going to leave it like that I've wedged the window back up and um, by the time this video gets out it will all be fixed so you can't come and nick my Civic okay so um, onto the cabin filter let's replace this and then hopefully we can get rid of the stink a little bit so the cabin filter in a Civic or in this Civic is actually behind the glove box which is a good job I looked that up otherwise I'd been looking under the bonnet for it for ages so um, right I think there's two screws right at the bottom underneath the glove box that need undoing Take these ones off to remove this bar and then we can get to the filter behind there. Okay, so I just kind of had to wiggle this bottom piece out and down and uh, a few bits of leaves and stuff in there that I need to clean. And, uh, and here we have the filter. Bit of gunk, bit of leaves, some feathers. That's not as bad as I thought it'd be to be fair. It doesn't smell fresh at all but a little bird feather in there. Let's get the new filter out then. See what we're working with. Looks a little bit bigger than the uh, the one I've got. Right, I had to wedge it in there because it's the wrong filter, typical. Um, but. Uh, that doesn't matter. So now airflow that direction. Technically just need to slide this back up in there. I had it the wrong way round. This little weird T piece needs to face the front. Or does it? Airflow that way, so this is the top. <sighs> right, finally, finally worked out how to get that back in there. This bit goes at the bottom. Probably didn't need to undo those, but I don't know. Luckily it's not too difficult just to clip them back on. He says, having difficulty clicking them back on. There we go.
Okay. Boom, boom. Right, okay, so moment of truth. Let's uh, start her up. Shit, battery's dead. Fuck. <sighs> no, it's totally dead. See, I went and forgot what Chris Fix taught me, and that is if you're working on the interior of a car for a long time, with the doors open, make sure you disconnect the battery, because having the lights on, and um, I think the stereo was on and stuff, and uh, this car doesn't get used very much anyway, so there wasn't much charge in the battery, so that has completely killed it. Definitely not gonna get enough. Okay, so while I'm waiting for the battery to charge up a bit, uh, I may as well give the car a good vacuum out. So I've got my bad boy Hoover Enigma. That's what I'm running with at the moment. I've got my Shark Power Brush. Hopefully the attachment's gonna fit. Yes, it will. Okay, and uh, I'm gonna start with the back seats because I pulled up this the other day to go to the tip and look what I discovered underneath here. So this is probably contributing to the stank a bit. Right, so I was vacuuming out the car, as you probably just saw, and um, I think I found the culprit, you know. Just down beside the uh, driver's seat. Don't know if you can see down there. But that looks like to be uh, some sort of dried milk-like substance, maybe. And um, you can't quite see it on... Oh yeah, you can. And there's some more down there as well. So... I'm just going to unbolt the seat and take this out and then I can, uh, hopefully that's the, uh, that's the problem. Okay, so we've got a free pen. Unfortunately the uh, KFC wipe's already been used. I don't know what that is. Oh, um, by the way, like uh, this, I've had this car for months now, so I'm not worried about Corona. I don't know what that is, but it's gross and uh, I've got to get rid of it. I think these are hot air blowers, so uh, I'm going to give them a little clean out, just in case uh, they stink. There we go, that'll do. That's a lot better. Wilco Apple Wipes, nice and strong. If this car doesn't smell of apple by the time I'm finished, I'll be well annoyed. Right, so I thought while I was at it, I might as well pull the passenger side seat up and clean down the sides of that, even though it wasn't that bad. Um, and uh, look what I found. I didn't know this was here. It doesn't work very well. The runners are a bit jammed, but there's like this cubby hole. Valuables tray. It doesn't work for shit but never knew that was there so uh, 
I mean, it's great, I guess, but I would have preferred a cup holder somewhere. Okay, so battery has uh, been charging for about three hours. Just whacked it in and Civic started right up like the trooper that she is. Um, interior wise, I've given it the best clean that I possibly could um, with the materials that I've got. Uh, I'm a carpet and upholstery cleaner and I've got all the gear to give this uh, interior a proper shampoo and uh, rinse, but all my stuff is at the other house. I swapped the van for this to bring it over here and left all my carpet cleaning stuff over there. So I can't do that, but filter's changed and uh, it's time to test out the fan. Right, so normally there'd be nothing on number one. There still is nothing on number one. Let's change it to here, there we go. Okay, still not a lot. Two. Still not a lot. Three. That's when it comes comes in. Okay. Right, it doesn't smell rank anymore, like that old vomit smell. Smell just kind of plain. A little bit of a tinge of smell to it still, but Oh, it's so much better though. <laughs> now, honestly, I wouldn't be able to do number four on the fans and be sitting here without gagging <laughs> before I change the filter. So that is definitely, definitely a massive improvement. Yep, you know, the, the tubes have still got a little bit of that smell to, uh, to unblock. So, uh, Hopefully in the next couple of weeks that should work its way clear. Um, I've done cleaned out all between the seats and stuff. So yeah, that's going to do it for now because uh, I just haven't got any more time to do anything on the Civic today. Um, I've got plenty of other bits and pieces. I've got parts ordered. The problem is just finding the time and the motivation to come out in the cold and, and work on things. Um, but uh, things are happening. I will update you uh, by video when I get the new motor for this and fit that. But other than that, subscribe if you haven't already and I will catch you on the next one. No!